cries to the most high. Souls tied, but he loosened the knots from all our soul ties. Don't rebuke the wind off of them years that we watch blow by. You the same God today as yesterday, and ain't no new God. Turn us from our vain activities and useless idols. Turn us away from trusting TV screens over our Bible. Remind us, obedience to you, our survival. And there ain't no other name under heaven given to cry to you. Cause us to cry to you, but not only when we need you. Right. Unless we realize the fact that we always need you or the fact that we all see through nothing hidden from your eyes. You see close enough to wipe away tears that I so cry. Yeah. Cause I like to shine like Mofa, Mofa. Broken before the Lord is our heart cry, walk cry. No longer bound by their profile, low fi Cause the most high and this low guys got I come running over. Oh God. It's Philadelphia Christian Church, the church of the Hebrews, and the church that worships in spirit and in the truth. If you're tuning in from live stream, thank you for joining us today. Our hope is that the presence of God would manifest in your home or wherever you are. Hey, this is James. And I own them. And right now, it's time for the Good News of the Week. All right, it seems like we got a pretty busy um, good news this oh, yeah, week, so um, let's get it started. Let's congratulate two of Ron Becker's grandchildren. All, All right. right. All the way from Los Angeles, California. Okay. Malaysia Arsenault and Jaden Richardson are in the graduating class of 2021. 21. All right. So Malaysia graduated from King Drew Medical Magnet High School and Jaden from Hamilton High School. Malaysia will be attending El Camino College for two years and will be training to become a veterinarian, while Jaden will be attending Northern Arizona to be a pharmacist technician and sports therapist. Wow, those are very outstanding, oh my goodness, um, achievements that they're yes. going to make. They're going to be a veterinarian and a pharmacist technician and sports therapist. Wonderful. Congratulations to the two of Ron Becker's grandchildren. Yes, Psalms 127.3 says, Lo, children are inheritance of the Lord, 
and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Amen. Congratulations to the family. And also a congratulations to Dolores Riley from your family. We are so proud of you. Great job, Dolores. Hold that diploma, girl. She looked good holding that diploma. Uh, Go, girl. Go, it. Dolores. All right, so you guys, we also want to give a congratulations out to uh, Keith Kennedy. Congratulations! Who, uh, he's releasing his new Kingdom Sports and Apparel t-shirts. Love it! Coming from the scripture, Matthew 6, 33, that says, Seek first the kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Yep. Now, Keith says, praise Yah for giving me this vision through this scripture reading. He says he just want to spread the word of Yah through sports and remind everyone, to put him first. That's Special right. thanks to Price Media for this amazing design. Visit the Kingdom Sports and Apparel Facebook page or you can email them at Kingdom Sports Apparel at Yahoo.com to place your order. Be, Be blessed. blessed. Yes, yes. It is a blessing to see how these Hebrew companies are coming up. Yeah. So now we're going to go into the happy birthdays. And we're, we're going to begin with, yes, a lovely princess. So let's give a happy birthday to our little princess, Chana. Praising Yah for our blessing and praying His continual protection over you with much favor. And this is coming from the love of Daddy, Mommy, Bubba, Farron, and Kirsty. All right, How happy special. birthday, Channa. Happy birthday, Channa. Let's give another happy eighth birthday to our Princess Bailey Noel. Bailey! The Lord has made our life all the more rich when He gave you to us on June fifth. You bring us so much joy and love wherever you go. We are blessed and forever grateful for you. Happy birthday, Bailey! We yes. love you so much. Love, Dad and Mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Bailey. Bailey! So special. That's Two little it. princesses. Glory to God. So, guys, this Friday on June eleventh. J Malva will be releasing a new single what? entitled Blessed. This single was inspired by the sermon Ordained to Eternal Life preached by Pastor Omar Tebow. Baruch Haba Bashim Yahweh. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The single Blessed will be available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube Music, and everywhere digital music is sold. PMG, music for the movement. That's it, you guys. Go get that this Friday. This Friday. All right, y'all. If you got any good news, birthday, anniversary, new business, a new graduate, a testimony, send it right over here to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. So it can be featured on the good news of the week. Now we have to receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays. So it can be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. To stay connected with us, please sign up to the Philly Network to receive prayer updates and latest information of things happening within the ministry. Sign up by texting at PhillyNet to the phone number 81010. The Key of David Business Directory is available to sign up for any current and new Hebrew businesses by going to www.kofdavid.org. Click on the register button and then click on sign up now and fill out the form. So the next time you decide to do business, first check out kofdavid.org and find a Hebrew company to do business with. The Philadelphia Church app. Download it today from your app store. Get on-demand content like past sermon messages, Tuesday Bible studies, Hebrew nuggets, and past School of the Hebrew conferences. Search for PCC Lafayette on your app store or visit our website. There are four ways of giving. One, if you're in the building, you can take part right after praise and worship and give in the tithing boxes that will be placed at the altar. Two, you can give on mobile from our church app. Three, you can give from our website at philadelphiacc.org, hit the menu, and click Give. Four, you can also give through text messages by texting the amount you would like to give to the phone number 337-294-0050. That's 337-294-0050. And we also have a fifth way. You can give right through the Cash App using the cash tag dollar sign PCCLA. If you're watching live from YouTube, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to hit the bell so you can be notified of live sermon messages and new videos. 
We are overjoyed that you are with us in the sanctuary and everyone live streaming with us today. Right now, we want you to stand to your feet. Children of Yah, it's time to worship the King. Here, be glad to be alive. Come on, isn't he good? Most high God, we come before you today. Just the way we are, I just want to praise you and give you glory. Because you truly deserve it. We come before you, Lord God. Welcome you in this house, Lord God. Praying that you would do what only you can do, Lord God. We acknowledge your, we acknowledge your love. We acknowledge your goodness. Lord God, we acknowledge all your, your blessings and the things that you have bestowed upon us, Lord God. So this is what we offer you. This is what we give back to you. Our worship, our praise, Lord God. So come and inhabit our praise tonight, Lord God. Just be God in this place. Be God in our lives. Be God in our homes. Magnify yourself, Lord God. Be glorified with our worship. Be, be lifted up on high, Lord God. We pray that you would smile upon us, Lord God, and, and that you would meet us right where we are, Lord God, right in the middle of what we're going through, right in the middle of our day, Lord God. Be magnified in our hearts and our minds in this place and our homes, Lord God. We lift you up, Lord God, and we say all these things in Yahshua, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. But I'm glad, I'm always glad to come together with my brothers and sisters and praise them. Amen. Because God do some amazing things. It's just great to be together. The Bible says when two or three gathered, he's there in the midst. And I don't know about you, I love when he here. When he here, you don't know what's going to happen. You're going to leave out of here with a healing. You're going to leave out of here with a blessing, with a revelation. And then I also want to really... uh. Give y'all some, give God some praise for y'all for even stepping out on faith and coming out tonight. Ain't nothing like being in the house of God. You could have been in your bed right now. You could have been in the bed comfortable watching live stream. But I just want to say, look, God got an extra blessing for y'all in the name of Jesus. Thank y'all. We want to welcome all visitors, everybody for coming in tonight, for tuning in tonight. Look, I'm believing God go do some great things. We come here with expectancy in our hearts that God is going to move tonight. Yeah. Amen, amen. Amen. So we're going to take y'all way back. Y'all ready? Everybody clap, yo. Come on, it's okay, y'all. We got nothing but the room tonight. We can move around. Hey. But the Bible says clap your hands, all ye saints, and celebrate. Here we go. Song says, can't nobody. Hey. Do me like Jesus. Can't nobody. Do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Can't no, can't. Nobody do me like Jesus. We gonna sing that again. Can't no can't nobody. Hey, do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody nobody do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Be my friend. Everybody clap your hands. Celebrate the joy of the Lord. Hey, everybody, everybody. Hey, we're gonna switch it up. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy. Back. I want 
want y'all to sing that with us. Say, living he, living he loved, dying he, dying he saved, buried he carried my, buried he carried my sins, sins far away, rising he justified, rising he justified free, free me forever. One day, one day he's coming glorious, back, glorious. Say, Everybody clap, yo. Come on, y'all got it? Come on, somebody make a joyful noise tonight. Hey. Come on. We're going to switch it up. So I'm right say, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Enter in, enter in the joy of the Lord. Hey, what do, what do, what do, what do? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Well done, well done, my good and faithful. Enter in, enter in the joy of the Lord. One more time. Well done, well done, my good and faithful. Get ready, get ready. Well done, my good and faithful. Get ready, get ready. Well done, my good and faithful. Enter in, hey, enter in the joy of the Lord. Hey, everybody, clap, yo. Come on, y'all got it tonight. Y'all look like y'all feeling good. Close it out on this one more. We're gonna take y'all back to the top. Hey, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Can't nobody. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. They put some hearts on the, on the screen. Hallelujah. God, you're worthy, God. You're worthy of it all. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of our lives. You're worthy of our offering, God. Therefore, Lord God, you paid the price. So we glorify you with our bodies, with our mouth, with our hands, our feet. We belong to you, God. Your cross that done it all. You demonstrated your love while we were sinners. You died. Come on, we gonna sing about it tonight. Come on, your cross. Your cross gave life, hope and salvation, full restoration, promise for all. Your grace has made this part of your 
no one like our God is no There is no one like our God 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 There is no one like our God. 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 We are right. We are right. Come on, y'all, sing it out. Say, there is no one like our God. There is no one. Tonight, say, say you're a great guy. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Somebody say that you're a great guy. Searched all over, can't find nobody. Say you're a great guy. Great and marvelous are your works. Somebody say you're great. Great and mighty is our God. Somebody say you're a great God. Great and mighty is our champion. Say you're great. You're a great God. Lord, you're great. And there is no one like our God. You're a great God. Lord, you're great. And there is no one like our God. You're a great God. Oh, searched all over. Couldn't find nobody like you, Lord. You're a great God. Searched all over. I couldn't find nobody but you. You were great, God. Great and mighty is our champion. Say you're great, God. You're great, God. You're great. And there is no one like you. Say you're great, God. Great is the Lord and worthy of our praise. You're great, Great is the Lord and marvelous in everything that you do. Lord. Wonderful, merciful, counselor, redeemer, deliverer, you're great, you're great God. You're marvelous, you're wonderful, redeemer, you're deliverer. Somebody say you're great God. I once was blind, but now I see. Somebody say you're great. I once was blind, but now I see. Somebody say you're great. Was blind, but today I can see. Somebody say you great. Oh, you great. You're great God. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. No one like focus on the greatness of God tonight. Say how, how great is our God. Sing with me. Sing with me. How great
on, we gonna do this. You're the name. You're the name above. exalted in the earth. Have your way tonight, God. Do what only you could do, God. Father, you know I'm nothing but dust, nothing but dirt, Daddy, but you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, God. You are the God Almighty, Daddy, who sit high and look low, God. Come in, God, and speak to us with clarity, God. Let your word go forth with clarity, God. Let them understand every single thing that you say in them. Who are sufficient for these things? Who can expound your truth but you, Daddy? Like you did, God, to the two men on the mayor's road. Have your way, Daddy, in Jesus' name, God. And I just, I just want to thank the Lord, man, and lift him up and magnify his name, yo. And y'all, y'all be in prayer for our under shepherd, you know what I'm saying? As he, as he laid foundation, y'all, as he laid his work in Atlanta, y'all. And, and worship team, man, I salute you, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Israel on the keys, man, y'all brothers, man, damn it. I salute you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? All glory to the most high, y'all. So we're going to get into this word, y'all. We're going to get into this word, y'all. We're going to get into this word, y'all. And y'all, we're going to be coming out of 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9 through 11, y'all. We're going to pick up where we left off, y'all. 
we're going to pick up where we left off, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead on it and read it, y'all, while y'all turn to it. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9, y'all. And so it was when they crossed over that Elijah said to Elijah, Ask what I may do for you before I am taken away from you. Elijah said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I'm taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. Then it happened. Then it happened as they continued on in talk that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind in heaven by a whirlwind in heaven. Father, I just thank you for your word, God. Have your way, Daddy. Father, Lord, speak your word with clarity, God. And Father, Lord, do what only you can do, Father, Lord. Break every band of wickedness, God. Loose, Father, Lord. Loose the captive, God. And Father, Lord, liberate your people. Give, Father, Lord, understanding and knowledge to your people, God. For you said them that know you shall do great exploits, God. And we want to know you more, Daddy. It's you who give us eyes to see. It's you who give us ears to hear, God. It's you who give us a heart to know, Daddy. So, Father, have your way tonight, God. And bind that enemy, God. Let him not be able to confuse, God or misconcept your word in any type of way, Father Lord. Let your angels stand God about around this place, God. Stand up in me, God, as I decrease you increase, Father. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, y'all, like I said, y'all, in these verses, y'all, there are so many different messages that, that you can give, y'all. There's so many different lessons and points, y'all, that can be made from these verses, y'all. But the Lord gave me, y'all, is to focus on Elijah, y'all. Like I said last time, focus on Elijah. Key in on Elijah, y'all. And that's why we named this title, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Elijah, a picture of a true Christian. Elijah, a picture of a true Christian. You know what I'm saying? So to give a little background, a little recap, y'all, we started off first, y'all, by looking at the title of our message, y'all. We started off looking at, y'all, the title of our message, Elijah, a picture of a true Christian, y'all. And I said that this picture of a true Christian, y'all, talking about us, y'all, being true Christian, y'all, is the exact same picture of the original created state of all mankind, y'all, who was in Adam, y'all, who was in the bosom of Adam before the fall of man, y'all. Before the fall of man, before Adam sinned against the most high God, y'all. Before he sinned against God, y'all. And because of that sin, y'all, all mankind are born, y'all, in a total depraved state, y'all. Corrupt in nature, y'all. Corrupt on the inside, y'all. That's why we born as sinners, y'all. As sinners. Sinners who are in dire need of a savior, y'all. Of a savior, y'all. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus, unless you be born again, you can't even see the kingdom of God. We must be born again, y'all. And that's what we was talking about. We went in about it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And we looked at it looking at Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, y'all. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And then we shift, y'all. We shift and we begin to talk about the background of Elijah, y'all. The background of Elijah. You know what I'm saying? We said that Elijah was the successor of Elijah, y'all. Elijah was the successor of Elijah. And we said that Elijah, y'all, he served the Lord faithfully 
for 50 years, y'all. He saved, served the Lord faithfully for 50 years, y'all. For 50 years. And then we begin to look at the definition of the name Elijah, if you could remember, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Which means, y'all, my God saves or God my salvation. Oh, God, my salvation. And, and we just went in on that. Y'all just breaking down the definition of Elijah name, Melville, if you could remember. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then, y'all, I told you that I had five things that we was going to look at that the Lord gave me, y'all. And we had started looking at the first thing, y'all, which was to get an understanding of the meaning behind the name Christian, y'all. To get an understanding of the meaning behind the name Christian, y'all. Behind the name Christian. You know what I'm saying? And then we begin to look at the actual picture, y'all. The actual picture of a true Christian through the life of Elijah. Through the life of Elijah. You know what I'm saying? And when I say that Elijah is a picture of a true Christian, y'all. I'm talking about a shadow of a true Christian, y'all. A shadow picture, just like Jesus, Melbo, in the scriptures. Moses was a shadow of Jesus, but he was not Jesus. You know what I'm saying? He was not Jesus. So when I say that, I'm making the correlation, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because Elijah chose Elijah. He called them to the calling of the prophet, y'all. And that's what our Elijah do. Our greater Elijah, Yahshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, the Christ, y'all. He choose us, y'all. He choose us and he calls us, y'all, to the calling, not just prophet, because he's what? Prophet, priest, and king, y'all. And I'm kind of getting into my message, but I need you to get a clarity of this, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Elijah is not an exact picture of a true Christian because just like Elijah, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Our Elijah is a greater than Elijah. Yahshua, y'all, is a greater than Elijah, a greater prophet, y'all. Us being true Christians are greater than the shadow of Elijah. You see, Elijah had the spirit upon him, but us as Christians have the spirit on the inside of us. Like I said, that's why I said, y'all, that the anointing is in you. It's in you, Melvo. Why? Because the Holy Spirit dwells in you. You know what I'm saying? God, the Holy Spirit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? God, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead, of the Godhead. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, we going to pick up, y'all, exactly where we left off. You know what I'm saying? Exactly where we left off. And we, we stop, y'all, in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19, y'all. And we're going to just pick up where we stopped, y'all. We're going to pick up where we stopped. And I'm going to just read it, y'all. I'm going to read it. It says, so he departed from there and found Elijah, the son of Shaphat. And y'all remember we stopped at Elijah finding Elijah, y'all. He found him. And our greater Elijah found us, y'all. For we went astray. He left the 99, y'all, and came back for us. We was the one, and that's where we stopped, y'all. That's where we stopped. You know what I'm saying? And I love this scripture, y'all, because it gives us a picture of a true Christian before salvation. Before salvation, B. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to look at this picture, man. We're going to look at this picture, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to look at this picture, y'all. Looking at the B part of verse 19. Looking at the B part of verse 19, y'all. It says, Elijah, the son of Shaphat, 
who was plowing with the 12 yoke of oxen before him. And he was with the 12, y'all. He was with the 12. He was with the 12. And what this was, y'all, that they would, they would yoke two oxen together, y'all. They would yoke two oxen together and put ropes on each side of the yoke, y'all. And a person would be in back of it, y'all, holding the ropes, y'all, controlling the plows, y'all. And he would be yoked to 11 others before him, y'all. He would be yoked to 11 others before him so that he would be yoked with the 12, y'all, with the 12. And they would also be yoked to 12 rows of 12, y'all. And I had some pictures, man. Sound boot, I don't know if you got it. Just to show them, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the pictures. Put your hand to the plow. Keep going, sound boot, if you got another one. That's another picture, y'all. Elijah throwing his mantle upon Elijah. And we're going to get into that in the scripture. Keep going, sound boot. That's another one, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that's an that's a, a, a upgraded vision, uh, picture. But this is another one, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, how they was grouped up with 12, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They was grouped up with 12. Look at that, y'all. I got in my nose that them fields must have been big, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, man. You know what I'm saying? And we showed some modern pictures of us doing that, y'all. To make the correlation, man. You know what I'm saying? To make the correlation, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Elijah was a Hebrew, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plowing, y'all. Plowing behind them oxen, y'all, in that hot heat sun, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Who else could that be, man? <laughs> Who else could that be, y'all? Who else could that be, you know? Who else could that be? But the revelation, y'all, is just like Elijah was working the work of plowing, y'all. We was also working the work as, as, as well, y'all. And the work that we was working, y'all, was the, the work that we was plowing, y'all, was the work that's called sin. <laughs> you see the correlation, B? He was plowing, y'all. He was plowing. Working the work of plowing, y'all. But we was plowing as well, y'all. But we was working the work of sin, y'all. Working the work of sin, y'all. Working the work of sin, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14, y'all, talking about the ungenerated in heart, y'all. Talking about the wicked man. Talking about the sinner, y'all. He said, having, full, he ha having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, y'all. Enticing souls, y'all. Enticing souls, meaning, y'all, that the sinner can't stop themselves from sinning, y'all. Can't stop themselves from sinning, y'all. And this was us before Christ, man. This was us before Christ. We couldn't stop ourselves from sinning, y'all, even though we tried, man. Even though we tried, it would stop for a little while, but what you would wind up back in what? The mud, y'all. Back in the mud, plowing again, sinning again, y'all. Let's look at this picture, man. Before Christ, before salvation, y'all. This picture of a true Christian, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's where we was, y'all. That's where we was, y'all. Before Jesus, before Christ, we was a slave to sin, y'all. A slave to sin. Because the thing is, y'all, in this life, y'all, you will either be working the work of sin or you will be working the work of righteousness. <laughs> there is no middle ground, man. There is no rotten offense, y'all. You're going to either be serving a slave to sin or you're going to be a slave to righteousness, y'all. I ask you, y'all, who are you a slave to, man? Who are you a slave to? Are you a slave to righteousness or are you a slave to sin? Because there is no, there is no middle ground, y'all. 
And Jesus talks about it in Revelation, man. He said, I wish that you was either hot or cold, but you neither. You play in the middle, man. And he said, what he said? What he said? Y'all know the scripture. He said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth, man. I'm going to spew you out of my mouth, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We can't ride the fence. Who are you a slave to, y'all? Who are you a slave to? The Bible says it's in Romans chapter 16. Romans chapter 16. Do you not know to whom you present yourselves as slaves to obey? You are that one slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. Yo. Of, or of obedience leading to righteousness. Show them that in our sound boot in, in Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. I think I sent it to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look what it say. I speak in human terms because you are weakness of the flesh. For just as you present your members as slaves of uncleanness, of, 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 of lawlessness, that's talking about sin, y'all, leading to more lawlessness, leading to more sin. So now present your members as slaves of righteousness. Of righteousness for holiness, man. Amen. Which one are you serving tonight? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that. Which one are you serving tonight? Are you serving sin or you're a slave to sin? Can't stop yourself from sinning? Having eyes full of adultery, the Bible say? Can't cease from sin. Which one are you tonight? Or you sl a slave of righteousness, B. You remember the shirt. <laughs> or you a slave to righteousness. You know? Paul say, I'm a bound slave to the most high God. I'm a bound servant, man. To righteousness, yo. To righteousness. You know what I'm saying? So to keep going, yo. We see that Elijah was not only working the work of plowing, but he was also yoked, y'all, to the work. He was also yoked to his work, y'all. And I have in my notes, just like Elijah was yoked to his work, we are yoked to our work, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But he was also yoked to 12, y'all. He was also yoked to 12, and he was also yoked to rows of 12. Does this, does this not look, y'all, like us before Christ? Because when we was in the world, y'all, we was not only yoked to the work of sin, y'all, but at the same time, we was yoked to a 12, y'all, which represents being yoked to cliques and groups, y'all, in the world, working the work of sin, Melbo. Working the work of sin, being yoked not only to the work of sin, but yoked to cliques and groups in the world. What cliques and groups you was yoked to the, tonight, man? What cliques and groups you was yoked to doing the work of sin in the world? You know what I'm saying? Not only yoked to 12, but you was also yoked to rows of 12. He was also yoked to rows of 12. And this represents y'all. Not only cliques and groups, but this represent crowds. <laughs> we was yoked not only to cliques and groups, but we was yoked to crowds in the world. Y'all working the work of sin, man. Working the work of sin. Yoked to a whole crowd of people. And when I think about that, y'all, the scripture that come to my mind, y'all, doesn't this sound like the wide gate? <laughs> oh, Mr. Steve, doesn't this sound like the wide gate? Doesn't this sound like the broad way in the world, y'all? Let's look at it in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Sound boot. I think I saw. Oh, we got it on time. He said, be, he said, enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, y'all. And there are many who go in by it. 
<laughs> because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find me. <laughs> what road are you walking on tonight, man? Are you on the narrow road, y'all? Or are you on the broad road? The, ride, the, the, the wide gate, the broad way, y'all. Because it leads to destruction, my brother. It leads to destruction, my sister. It leads to fire and brimstone. Where there's gnashing and teats. Where the, where the, where the worm never dies, the Bible says. Where the worms never die, man. Where the worms never die, y'all. You know? And I like the ending of this verse, y'all. In verse 19. Second, uh, first Kings chapter 19, sound boot if you could go back to that and I'm going to be working, man, so you could, you know what I'm saying? But if not, it's good, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, y'all, then Elijah passed by him and threw his mantle upon him, y'all. <laughs> he passed by him and threw his mantle upon him, y'all. While he was plowing. While he was working the work of sin, y'all, what does that sound like, y'all? Doesn't that sound like our greater Elijah be who came and found us plowing, working the sin? He say in Romans 5, 8, y'all, that yet we were, yet while we were sinners, Melville, he died for us, man. <laughs> Can you see it, y'all? Can you see this picture, wife? Can you see this picture, man? My God. I'm not lying to you. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? He says, threw his mantle upon him, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that while, y'all, he was still working the work of plowing, Elijah threw his mantle upon him. This word mantle, y'all, it means, y'all, when connected to the prophet, is the Hebrew word adoret. Adoret. And I was trying to work on how to say that, y'all. <laughs> You know, Adirat. <laughs> you know, A D D E R E T. You know what I'm saying? And the root meaning of this word Adirat, y'all, is Adar. Adar. So I don't, I don't know if I gave it to you, Adar. A D A R, which means glorious, y'all. It means splendor. It means marvelous and mighty, y'all. <laughs> That's what the word mantle means, y'all. In this Hebrew meaning of this word mantle, y'all. But the mantle also represented the calling of the prophet, y'all. It represented the office of the prophet. So when we see in the scriptures that Elijah threw his mantle upon Elijah, y'all. What we see, y'all, is that Elijah was choosing Elijah. You know what I'm saying? Not only choosing him, but he was calling him to the calling of the prophet, y'all. He was calling him to the calling of the prophet. And our greater Elijah Melville, that's what he did with us. It was him who choosing us. He seen us and he threw his mantle upon us, choosing us, y'all. You know the scripture in John chapter 15, verse 16. Jesus said, you didn't choose me, but I have chosen you, Miss Mary. I have chosen you, man. He chose us by throwing his mantle upon us, y'all. Calling us to the calling of not just the prophet like I said earlier. Because our Elijah, Yahshua HaMashiach, is the prophet, the priest, and the king, yo. <laughs> and that's what you've been anointed for. That's what you've been called to. To be prophet, priest, and king, Mr. Carr. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was so passionate last time. And we're going to get into it. I don't want to get ahead of my notes, y'all. About praying. Ooh, the ministry of the priest, man. The devil have, have put a stain upon that name. But God going to raise real priests back up. Who, who going to go to God on the behalf of the people, man? Who going to go to God on the behalf of the people? Everybody want to be prophets and teachers, but you are priests as well. Want to be kings, but you are priests as well. Forsake not the ministry of being priests, man. <laughs> Pr 
priests in your household, priests in your family, priests in the neighborhood, priests, y'all, priests in the city, man. You know? Keep me, Lord. <laughs> Keep me, man. Keep me. Keep me, y'all. You know? But how do we receive this mantle, y'all? How do we receive this calling of being a true Christian? By receiving his death, burial, and resurrection. You know what I'm saying? Jesus dying for us on the cross, y'all. Dying for our sins on that cross, y'all. The cross of Calvary, y'all. Him dying for us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Him dying for us. The Bible says, like I said before, y'all, he demonstrated his own love towards us by, by dying for us, y'all. The Bible said that, that, you know the famous scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. What he did? He sent his only begotten son that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life, yo. Everlasting life, man. That's how we receive this mantle, this calling, this calling of being prophet, priest, and king, yo, which is no other than a true Christian. That's how we receive this thing, yo. That's how we receive it, man. You know? That's how we receive it, man. You know? And when we truly receive it, yo, there's a reaction of a response that follows afterward, yo. When we truly receive this mantle, this calling, yo, of being a true Christian, and y'all, we see this reaction of response towards, ap this, this reaction of a response afterwards, y'all, in the life of Elijah. Let's look at it in verse 20, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It says, and he left the oxen, y'all, and ran after Elijah. <laughs> B, you can hear me, B, meaning that after Elijah threw his mantle upon Elijah, yo, his reaction of response afterwards was that he left the oxen, meaning that he left the work of plowing, B, and he ran after Elijah. <laughs> Is this not the picture of a true Christian, yo? Because after we receive the mantle, after we truly receive him dying for our sins, y'all, we put off the work of sin. We put off the work of plowing, y'all. And what do we do? We run, man. We run to our Messiah, our Elijah, y'all. We run to him, y'all. We run to him. That's the picture of a true Christian, man. Did you run to him? After you receive, after you receive, y'all, is a reaction of a response afterwards. You know what I'm saying? That shows you truly received this thing, man. You wouldn't plan, man. You really believed him, man. <laughs> you really took him at his word, man. And you threw off the work of sin. It's like you woke up, you just snapped out of it, and you say, I'm running to my Savior, man. <laughs> I'm running to my Savior, man. To Lord have mercy, Daddy. Lord have mercy. You know? Lord have mercy. But to keep going, y'all, and to continue in verse 20, it said, y'all, you know what I'm saying? And said, and, talking about Elijah, y'all. After, after Elijah threw his mantle upon him. After he ran to Elijah. Look what it says, y'all. You know? In the B part of verse um, 20. Look what it says. It says, and said, talking about Elijah. Please let me kiss my father and my mother. And then I will follow you. And then I will follow you. And he said, talking about the response of Elijah, what Elijah told him after he said that he just ran to Elijah, y'all. But he said, please let me kiss my father and my mother. 
and then I will follow you. And Elijah said to him, go back again, for what have I done to you? What have I done to you? So when I look at this, y'all, and most of the people, y'all, that know their Bibles, we instantly hear the words of Jesus in the scriptures. <laughs> we instantly hear the words of Jesus in the scripture, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because what Elijah was telling Elijah, y'all, is that I just threw my mantle upon you. I just called you to the calling of the prophet. And you talking about going back to your father and your mother. <laughs> Elijah tells him, yo, you know what I'm saying? Go back again. For what have I done to you? Meaning that if you can't perceive what I have done to you, then go back. <laughs> If you can't perceive, man, of what I have done to you, then go back, man. Go back, he said. Go again. Go back again. And this is exactly what's the words of Jesus, y'all. And we see this thing, y'all. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 21 and 22, 2. Sound good, I need you on this one. Thank you, Lord. Then another of his disciples said to him, y'all, who's a disciple? A follower of Jesus, a follower of Messiah, man, a true Christian, man. Look what he said. His disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Keep going, sound boot. But Jesus said to him, follow me. Let the dead bury his own dead, man. <laughs> Did you know what I just done to you? Do you know who's calling you? It's the king of kings and lord of lords, man. The one who created heaven and earth, man. The one who brewed, blew, who breathed breath into man, man. Do you know what I have done to you, man? You know what I'm saying? Go to, to, to Luke, Luke chapter 9. Look at that, y'all, another one. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are at my house. Let's look at Jesus' response. <laughs> Let's look at our Elijah response, y'all. But Jesus said to him, no one having put his hand back, put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Man. <laughs> You're not fit if you look back, man. Jesus said, who are my mother and my brother, man? Them who do the will of my father, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Big Kurt? Them who do the will of my father, man. Them are my mother and my brother. Them are my father, y'all. You go back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God, man. You're not fit for the kingdom of God. You're not fit for the kingdom of God. Now let's look at this. This ooh. <laughs> let's look at this last close-up of this picture of the true Christian, y'all, in verse 21. Verse 21. You know what I'm saying? First Kings chapter 19, verse 21. I'm gonna read it. So Elijah turned back from him, y'all. And it don't say that he went back and kissed his mother and father. <laughs> That's not found in the scripture, Mr. Steve. That's not found in the scripture. Look what it said. Look what it said. It said that he turned back from him and took the yoke of oxen and slaughtered them and bought their flesh, y'all, using the oxen's equipment and gave it to the people. And they ate and he rose up and followed Elijah and became his servant. That's what the response of the true Christian be. We turn back, be, and we slaughter our work of sin. <laughs> we slaughter, y'all, the equipment that we was using for sin. Shalena, you know what I'm saying. You know when I took it all to the trash. You remember? You remember? 
We slaughter it. We destroy it, y'all. And we rise up and we follow and become a servant of the Most High God, man. Become a servant, man, of the Most High God, Mr. Carl. We destroy our oxen. We destroy our sin, y'all. We ball it. We set a blaze to it. We set a fire to it, y'all. We deal with it. And we rise up and we follow and we become servants. We become servants of the Most High. Servants of Yahshua, Hamashiach, y'all. Servants of Jesus the Christ. Can you hear me tonight, y'all? Can you hear him tonight, y'all? Burn your sin, man. Get rid of your sin. Blaze it and follow the master, man. Follow the master. You hear me, Tori? Burn it. Get rid of it and follow the master, man. He got work for us. <laughs> he got work for us. He got work for us. Don't forget that word. Revival is coming, y'all. He got work for us. He got work for us. You know, I'm telling you, y'all, is this not this picture of Elijah? Is this not a true picture of the true Christian? You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> is this not a, a, a magnificent correlation, man? Oh, come on, y'all. You know, now let's move to this second thing, y'all. You know, and get into what I call, y'all, the found fundamentals of the faith. We got to go back to the original scripture. Our original scripture, y'all, in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. I never forsook our scripture, man. <laughs> I never forsook our scripture, man. You know what I'm saying? I never forsook our scripture, y'all. You know? In all these last four things, y'all, we're going to look at is going to be found in our scriptures. So let's look at it, y'all, in verse 9. In verse 9, y'all, you know? That's our second thing. It was Acts. Acts, y'all. But let me read the scripture, you know? We see in verse 9, y'all, it says, and so it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elijah, ask what I may do for you before I am taken away for you, from you. And Elijah said, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. <laughs> please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me, y'all. You know? And in this verse, y'all, we see that Elijah acts, y'all. He acts. And that was the sucking thing. It was acts. Acts. You know what I'm saying? We see that Elijah acts, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, and acting for us as true Christians, y'all, is something that's fundamental in our faith walk. Us acting. Is something that's fundamental in our faith, faith walk, y'all. We got to always, y'all, be asking of the Father, man. We got to always be asking of the Father, y'all, day in and day out. Right. Week in and week out, y'all. Yeah. Month by month, year by year, life by life, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We got to always be asking of the Father, y'all. And for us as Christians, sometimes we could put off the fundamental of action, y'all. We could put it off sometimes as Christians, man. And go about our day, y'all, not action of the Father, man. You know what I'm saying? Not action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not action of the Father, y'all. Not action of, of our day. Not action of concerning us, not action of us, not action of our children and our family, y'all. Not action of our jobs, not action of our business, y'all. We go about the day not even action of the Father, man. You know what I'm saying? Not asking him which way to, to go and which way not to go. 
Not asking him of the decisions we make day in and day out, y'all. And sometimes it causes a crash for us, man. Because we, we put off the fundamental of asking. Of asking. God said in the scriptures, man, he said, shouldn't the people inquire of their God? Shouldn't they ask of their God be? You know what I'm saying? What he said, man, he said, be anxious for nothing. But in all things with prayer and supplication, make your request known to the Father. Yo. You know what I'm saying? We got to always be asking of the Father. Man. Always be asking of the Father. Yo. You know? And I got in my notes, asking is the art of prayer, yo. Meaning that with every prayer that's made unto the Father, yo, there is an accent that is within it. <laughs> Every prayer that's made to the Father, there is an axing that is within it, y'all. It's the art of prayer, y'all. It's the art of prayer, you know? And I've been reading this book, y'all. This little book is called The Best of John Wesley on Prayer. And John Wesley, man, Pastor kind of broke it down about him. He was one of the great revivals, yo. You know what I'm saying? And it, it says, Melville, how to pray. I stumbled upon this thing, man, to my ain't house, yo. You know, God been pressing upon me with prayer, you know. You know, and John West, Wesley blessed me, man. I've been reading this thing, me and my wife, man. Got me on fire for prayer, B. You know what I'm saying? We run to prayer when we get home, man. <laughs> we run to prayer, y'all. You know? I got a quote from John Wesley. Look what he said. He said, every new victory. Sound boot, I gave it to you. I, I think he's in, I gave it to you, man. But I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. He said, the quote by John Wesley. Look what he said. Every new victory which a soul gains, y'all. Is the effect is the effect of a new prayer. <laughs> he said, every new victory that a soul gains, Melbo, is the effect of a new prayer, y'all. It's the effect of a new prayer. And I stand here to say, y'all, that without action of the Father, without prayer, I wouldn't be standing here, y'all. It's the prayer warriors that's praying on the behalf of the people being priests, y'all. That's causing the father to draw them to his son, man. For none could come to the son unless what? The father draws him. <laughs> Ooh, woo. We got to preach. We got to teach and bring this gospel. But we got to pray him into the kingdom as well, y'all. We got to ask of our father for them, y'all. He said, no new victory that a soul gains. You know what I'm saying? It's the effect of a new prayer. Yo. It's the effect of a new prayer. You know, and I'm going to just keep reading the rest. You know, he said, in the greatest temptations, a single look to Christ and barely pronouncing his name suffices to overcome the wicked one. As so it be done with confidence and calmness of spirit, yo. <laughs> John Wesley, man, that boy got me on fire right now, B. <laughs> oh, Lord, have your way with us, Daddy. We yield our bodies to you. We yield our souls to you. We yield our spirits to you, Daddy. For your glory, O oh King. For your glory. The Bible say, y'all, it goes deeper. That action makes a difference, y'all, between having and not having. It makes a difference between being jealous and not being jealous. Envying a person and not envying a person, y'all. Which leads to nothing but fights and wars, y'all. And this causes fights and wars, y'all, not only on the outside in the world. But I'm sad to say it causes fights and wars in the church, y'all. <laughs> this thing caused fights and wars in the church, B. You know? 
It also caused fight, fights and wars, y'all, within our own selves, within our own emotions, within our own souls, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it causes greed, and it even causes murder sometimes, y'all. All because we don't understand the promise of accent. <laughs> Let's look at it in John, I mean in James chapter 4, verse 2. What James tell us, y'all? He said, you lust and you have not. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. <laughs> Simply because you do not ask, man. You know? And as I look at this, y'all, it's not only an individual thing, but this is a worldwide thing. It's a worldwide thing, yo. You know, Jesus said it like this, man. In Luke 11, 9, in Luke 11, 9, he said, So I say to you, ask and you will receive, man. Only ask. He said, if you ask, he not going to give you. If you ask for bread, he not going to give you a stone, man. He said, surely he going to give you freely the Holy Spirit. Man. He going to give you what you ask for, y'all. Yo. You know, he going to give you what you ask for. You know, Jesus even says it like this in, in John. Uh, well, that was him said the first one, too. But he said in 1624, y'all, in John, y'all, he said, until now, talking to his disciples, man, that's how important accent is. He said, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy might be full. <laughs> he wants you to ask. He wants you to ask. I got in my notes, y'all, that Jesus, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Number one, he encouraged us to ask, y'all. God encouraged us to ask. He pushes us to ask, y'all. He double dares us to ask. <laughs> Let me bring it where you can understand. He double dares us to ask, y'all. You know? He wants us to ask. And it's the same thing with us as fathers because I just was telling my daughter, ask. All you got to do is ask because she be trying to climb the counter for a snack, y'all. They think they old. They think they could do things on their own. And I said, Birdie, all you have to do is ask. You know what I'm saying? Before you hurt yourself. The father said, all you have to do is ask before you hurt yourself. <laughs> all you have to do is ask before you hurt yourself. Man. What you in need of tonight is a breath away. Only ask. Only ask. In Isaiah, he makes it good. In Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24, look what he said. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. <laughs> he tell you, before you ask me, I'm going to answer you, man. <laughs> before you call, I'm going to answer. And yet while you're speaking, yet while you're asking me, I'm going to sit down in here. <laughs> I'm going to sit down in here, you man. I already answered you, but I'm going to still listen to what you're asking, man. Come on, y'all. He encouraged us to ask him. He's a good, good God, y'all. Jeremiah 33, 33.3, uh, 33, God says, call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. It's a must that we ask him. Because there's a lot of things we don't know. <laughs> there's a lot of things we're ignorant for, y'all. So it's a must that we ask him. What are you asking him tonight? You know? <clears throat> and number two, y'all, asking is a humble position I got in my notes. It's a humble position. That's why we ask, y'all. And it's hard for us to ask, y'all, because in our nature, our natural nature, y'all, you know what I'm saying? We walk in pride, B. <laughs> you know what the Bible say about pride? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? He said pride coming what? Before a fall, man. 
He said, God abase the proud. And what he do? He exalts the humble. Action is a humble position. It's a humble position when you can come time and ask, man. Don't think you're grown. Because though them children going to grow out asking us, us as the children of God, we never grow out asking the Father, man. You're going to always have to ask the Father, man. You're going to always have to ask him. That's why I say it's life for life. It's a fundamental that's life for life, man. You're going to always, yo. Even in heaven, we're going to have to ask him. Because we're still not going to know it all, B. He the only omniscient one, yo. <laughs> He the only omniscient one. You know? He the only omniscient one. So we, you know, so, ah, let's go. Ooh, let's keep going. And that was in Matthews 23, 12, y'all. Whoever exalts himself shall be made a base, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. So to keep moving to this third, th third thing, y'all, know how to ask. We got to know how to ask. And we see this in the life of Elijah. Elijah knew how to ask, y'all. And this is a fundamental. We got to know how to ask. And we see this in verse 9, y'all. Elijah said, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. And here, y'all, we see Elijah not only ask, but he knew how to ask. And we know that because Elijah received exactly what he asked for. <laughs> That's how we know he knew how to ask because he received exactly what he asked for. Not another thing. He received exactly what he asked for, y'all. You know? Now, we got to include the sovereignty of the Most High God. I got to cut it straight for you. You know? We got to include his will. You know? And if his will decides to go another way, we say like Jesus, nevertheless... Who? Not my will, but your will be done. Man, let me keep going, Lord. I'm going to just have to give y'all these. Y'all, the time is fine. Man, time is fine, y'all. He said, Elijah, not only ask, y'all. And James, it said, you ask and do not receive, y'all. Because you ask amiss. In you, you ask a miss. Let me stop there. I got in my notes, y'all. When I think about this, it's like a person shooting a born arrow, y'all, into open air, y'all, having no target to aim at. You know what I'm saying? I think about a quarterback throwing, having a receiver wide open for a touchdown, y'all. And because of a misconception of judgment, he throws the ball way too high, y'all, and overthrows his receiver. You know what I'm saying? This is a miss, y'all. I'm talking about what is a miss, y'all. And this can, can, can happen, y'all, to us in prayer. You know what I'm saying? We could begin to shoot our prayers, y'all, into open air, into the air, y'all, without aiming at the will of the Father, like I said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it could happen to us, y'all, just like the quarterback. Be, you know what I'm saying? Begin to throw our prayers, y'all. But because of a misconception of judgment, y'all, we overthrow the will of God, man. We overthrow the will of God, be? You know? And the Bible says in Ephesians 5, 17, Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what is the will of the Lord, man. You know? 1 John 5, 14, 15. Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us, y'all. He hears us. He hears us. So we got to aim at his will. It also say, y'all, you spend it on your pleasures. And this talking about motives, y'all. Our motives and the things that we want, y'all. The things that we desire, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And there's so much scriptures, y'all, that line up with talking about action. You know what I'm saying? You know, in Jeremiah 17, 9, 10, the Bible said that the heart is deceitful above all things, desperately wicked. Who can know it, y'all? The Lord searches the heart and tests the mind, y'all, even to give every man according to his ways to the fruits of his doing. He going to search our heart, y'all. So we got to line up our desires with his will. <laughs> yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just floor y'all because we got to shut it down, man. You know what I'm saying? We also got to act in the right position, y'all. We, gotta, we have to be saved. Proverbs 15, 29. The Bible said the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And we can't be having unrepented sin, y'all. Psalm 66, 18 say, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear, y'all. And number four, we see that Elijah continued on. That's the next one, continued on. Then it happened as they continued on and talked, y'all. And the Lord spoke to me, y'all, in this continuing on, y'all. He told me that this continuing on, y'all, is how we wait upon the Lord, y'all. It's how we wait upon the Lord, y'all. A lot of times we think waiting on the Lord is stationary position, a position of no movement, y'all. But the waiting, y'all, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the Lord, it's an action word, y'all. It's waiting, you know what I'm saying, it's a waiting that's moving in the direction of what it's asking for. <laughs> it's a waiting that's continually continuing on, moving to what it's asking for, y'all. You know? The Bible say, y'all, in, uh, in Hosea, Hosea 12, 6, so you, by the help of your God, return. He said, observe mercy and justice and wait on your God continually. <laughs> it's a continual thing, y'all. It's a continuing on, y'all. He continued on and talked to Elijah, y'all. He continued on and talked to Elijah. The Bible say in Isaiah 40, 31, but those who wait in the Lord shall renew their strength, y'all, and shall mount up with wings like eagles, y'all. Shall run and not rivers, shall walk and not faint. What you waiting on tonight, y'all? Because I'm waiting as well, y'all. But the next one is, is what we've been waiting for. It's, it's what I wanted to tell you from the beginning to hold in your heart, y'all. What you're praying for tonight. What you're waiting on tonight, y'all. We see in the scriptures, y'all, that Elijah, as he continued on, the Bible said, suddenly. Oh. Kurt, that's what I was talking about. The Bible said, suddenly, y'all. So I know what I'm waiting for. As I continue on and wait, as I believe him, y'all, as I trust in him, as I depend upon him and wait for his time and including his will, y'all, it's going to happen for me suddenly, y'all. It's going to happen suddenly. What you waiting for tonight? What you waiting for? Tuck that in your heart. It's going to happen suddenly. Suddenly, y'all. Suddenly. Suddenly, and we're going to end with this, y'all, you know. I had a song for us, man, but the time is all the way out, y'all. It's over. It's over. It's over. You know, but I had a song that, you know what I'm saying? There's power in the name of Jesus, y'all. There's power in the name of Jesus, y'all, to break every chain, to break every chain, y'all. There's an army rising up, y'all. There's an army rising up to break every chain, y'all. To break every chain, y'all. Our God is good and it's going to happen suddenly. This movement going to grow suddenly. Them Hebrews going to come home suddenly, y'all. It's going to happen suddenly, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Pastor going to begin to see fruit in Lafayette suddenly, y'all. You know what I'm saying? As he labor in other fields, it's going to happen suddenly, I'm telling you, y'all. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Yahshua, y'all. Can you receive his power? There's an army rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, y'all. Ooh, <laughs> man. And if you want to come to this altar, you can. Y'all, we're going to pray, man. We're going to pray, man. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus, y'all. There's power in the name of Jesus. 
That's power in the name of Jesus. If you hear him calling, if you hear him speaking, come and receive your God, man. Come and receive your God. Break every chain, daddy. Break every chain for your glory, God. Loose your anointing for your glory, God. Heal your people for your glory. Some waiting on healing, God. Some waiting on healing. Some waiting on blessings, God. Some waiting on an anointing and a calling, God. Some waiting for you to fill them with your spirit, God. Some waiting for them to be saved, God. Fill your people. Fill your people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, I lose, God, your anointing upon your people, God. Heal your people, God. I'm speaking to all riders, God. I'm, I'm speaking to cancer, God. I'm, I'm speaking, God, to any disease, God. Heal your people, God. I'm speaking for the Lord to any stress in the mind, God. Any for the Lord thing that's going wrong with their spines right now, God. Anything, God, even corona, heal it in the name of Jesus, God. Happen, let it happen suddenly for them. Fill them with your healing, for healing are the children's bread, God. Let your healing rest upon your people. Let breakthrough rest upon your people, God. God, flood them with your spirit. Come down and meet with us, Daddy. We surrender our bodies to you. We surrender our souls to you. We surrender our spirits to you. Have your way with us, God. Loose your anointing. It's the anointing that break yokes, daddy. In the name of Jesus, King. God, let it be. Let it be, God, as you have spoken, God. Confirm every word, daddy. You know what they need. Y'all repeat after me. Say, Father, I receive my healing. I receive my breakthrough. I receive prosperity. I receive all what you have for me. And Father, I receive you sending your son to die on the cross for all my sins and filling me with your spirit created in me a new creature in Jesus name amen 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 in Jesus name in Jesus in Jesus may the Lord bless y'all may the Lord cause his face to shine upon y'all may the Lord be gracious unto you may the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and bless you with shalom peace in Jesus name peace in your body peace in your mind peace in your soul peace in your spirit peace in your family peace at your job peace in your business in the name of Jesus break every chain daddy. break every chain God. in Jesus name give God glory y'all Give God the glory, y'all. It's all Him, y'all. We, we lift Him up. We magnify Him. We, we magnify Him. For His glory, y'all. For His glory. It's not about a man. It's not about a man. It's all Him. It's all Him. Let Him receive it. Let Him receive it. He's our God. He's our God. We have no God but God, y'all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.